it's good to remember that three quarters of the southern white population did not own slaves. Right. So your question is one of the most important questions having to do with the Civil War. Um, assuming, and I think it's a very good assumption, that the Civil War at bottom is about slavery, how do we explain this? Uh, the support by non-slave owners of a pro-slavery confederacy and a pro-slavery war effort. And I think the answers take us into uh, the conditions and the psychology of this population. Large numbers live near the plantation and are economically uh, interested in the plantation. They work for plantation owners, they derive economic or political or social benefits from being neighbors of slave owners, slave owners, uh, planters in order to uh, cultivate this friendly relationship with non-slave owners might gin the small non-slave owners cotton for free, ship the cotton to market for little or nothing, and in general create a, uh, 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 a patronship with this individual. Right. Right. Meanwhile, the small owner may hope to become a slave owner, aspire right. to that, or his son goes to work for the slave owner, and so on. So uh, the, those who live in the hills are more removed from the slavery system and frequently feel uh, more resentment toward the slave owner, but nonetheless are very rarely in favor of emancipation. They have bought the idea, number one, that freeing blacks is dangerous because these people are dangerous, um, but more importantly, have been fed centuries and certainly generations of racial ideology according to which white people enjoy a favored position precisely because black people are right. enslaved. Right. Um, right. And so they feel that their value as human beings and as citizens derives in no small part from the fact that others are excluded from this charmed circle. You know, th th it may not be slaves uh, versus non-slaves today, but that phenomenon has never changed, has it? Everybody whom I've ever heard of derives part of their self-worth from thinking they're better than somebody else. Well, I, it's certainly, it's certainly a, uh, a, a consistent thread throughout much of history, but the degree to which it worked itself into the center of society and social thought and yeah. political ideology is much greater yeah. in the uh, yeah. slave South than it was elsewhere in the country. This excerpt is brought to you by the Massachusetts School of Law, the leader of reform in legal education and the leader in multimedia education for the public. To view the full interview and for a full listing of MSL's programs, log on to mslaw.edu.